Sin Color here and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can save our current location to the database. This will be really important to the primarily to the driver. So whenever the driver changes the location or the location is updated, we'll be saving the latitude and longitude of the driver to the database. And to do that, we are going to use an API, uh, which is called Geofire. You can find it online. Let me just go in and grab it. Geofire, Android. Let's see what shows up. And here it is, the GitHub. And you can go through it all. And we are going to use Geofire because it allows us to, as the title says in here, to make real-time location queries in the in Firebase. And this will greatly help us and make things really easy for us when we are trying to find which driver is closer, closest to us. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, go into your Uber app, Uber project, and this is where we left off uh, last, in the last lesson we uh, got to a point where we could from periodically each second we could get the location of the the user in this case the driver so now let's go into let's close that all and go into our build gradle into our dependencies and we are going to be adding um, a dependency. So add compile. In fact, let's add uh, directly from the Geofire page. So grab this, this one, and I'll be linking down below so you can go ahead, go ahead and take a look at it. Add that and sync it. After that is done, go into your driver map activity and in here, where we are going to be sending uh, write uh, requests to the database is on location changed. So after this, in here, we are going to be adding the um, set value or set location to the database. And now let's go into our database so I can show you uh, what it will look like. So we'll have a driver location or better yet driver available in the next lessons you'll understand why I call it available and then below that we'll have the driver ID with a latitude set to true let's set that and the longitude. Is that true? So, whenever a driver is available, which is the same thing as saying he's not uh, out in a job, he's not taking any customers anywhere, and he is uh, with the map activity open, which means that he's using the app, then his location will appear here and will tell us which drivers are, are available and where. So we can, as I've said previously, actually find out which one is closer, is closer to us, which is really important. So yeah, for now let's delete that and let's try to make that uh, using code. So now, first of all, we are going to need the um, the user ID. So let's say user ID equals, and we learn this in our in my in Firebase uh, playlist. So you can check it out if you need to. Uh, get instance dot get current user dot get UID. And this will give us the ID of the user that's currently logged into the application. Then let's create the database reference. 
call it ref and firebase database dot get instance dot get reference drivers available and this reference will point to the main child of the drivers available inside this child there will be all the drivers that are currently available and their uh, uh, positions and now let's get into the geofire now geofire uh, you won't be saving the information in the normal way you won't be setting a, va a value as you can remember we used to say ref dot set value something in here we are not going to do this because geofire has its own way of uh, putting values to the database and it is really simple you see so we'll just call a variable geofire of the type geofire and say new geofire ref okay in here we have the database reference of where we want the geofire data to be stored into then called the geofire geofire variable not type variable and we are going to set a location which is the same thing as setting set value in the geofire sense and say user id so this is going to be the child in which the information of this user is stored the comma new geolocation and last location dot get latitude and this last location as you can remember is the location mm, actually let's call it location just to so we can understand it better so this location is the loca the, um, the location the most updated location that you can have okay so comma location dot get longitude. So this will store the, lat the latitude and the longitude to the child user ID. Uh, and this user ID is stored inside the drivers available. I know this is a lot, but we'll see it in action just in a second. And then we are going to because we need the, the user to, let me rephrase it, because the driver is only available when the app is running, because when the app uh, stops running, the, the, we are going to assume that the driver is no longer available. So we need to know when the user checks out, per se, uh, of this activity. To do that, we are going to call on stop. And this on stop will be called any time the user gets out of this activity. Either close it, uh, minimize it, anything. And we are going to copy this uh, this part, this code here. And but instead of set location, you are going to just say remove location user ID. So anytime the the user gets out of this uh, activity, we are going to remove him from the, the database, from the child drivers available, because he is no longer available. Okay? So, yeah, that's all. Let's run it and see if it works. Okay, now that uh, the app has loaded successfully, let's go into our uh, database and open these side by side so you can see it working so say I'm a driver okay here it is and now this should be running so let's go again and here it is driver is available the ID of the driver and latitude and longitude I've, uh, I'm using an app that uh, is called Fake GPS, I believe, and this allows me to, first of all, hide my location. 
<laughs> as you can guess I don't want it uh, out there in the internet and second of all it allows us to m force the GPS to move around and as you can see when when in the database something appears yellow it is because it is being changed or added added? no only changed if it is added I believe it is green so yeah it is working just fine uh, we have the ID of the driver this value that doesn't really matter to us and in here uh, we have the latitude and, and the longitude it, it is represented with 0 and 1 so that is all for now thank you all very much for uh, watching make sure you check out my twitter I've just created it I'll be posting uh, relevant Android news there and articles that I find interesting so check that out in the description like, subscribe, and yeah.